Hi everybody, this is Roberta Montagnini and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I color grade my images. This is not the official way to color grade, but it is a way and I really enjoy doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments and suggestions, don't forget to leave in the comments below. So this is the image I will be working on today and showing you how to color grade. Here you can see the final result that I will try to achieve by the end of this video. I will try to be as detailed as possible and if you have any questions, just please ask them in the comments below. I hope you find this video useful and now let's have fun with color grading. And just before I forget, I always use color grading at the end of my image. So after I have edited the image and I'm happy with the final result, that's when I do the color grading. All right, so let's go. To begin with, I will create a new layer using gradient map. So gradient map is a gradient. And I will go here on this menu and you can see that there are lots of different gradients here. It looks pretty scary when you look, especially this one here. How was that? <laughs> and, but they are not scary, they are actually your friend. So what this means when I'm coloring here? So this color, which is the one on the far left, that's, gonna, that's going to manipulate your shadows. This one here, normally around 50, the location is going to manipulate your mid-tones. And this one here is going to manipulate, uh, change your highlights. So this is the ones I use quite a bit. These others here, I don't remember why I create them, but I always create something custom. So I'm going to pick this one right here and I'll click OK. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over to Linear Light, and that looks very scary. Sorry, not Linear Light, um, Soft Light. And I'm going to drag the opacity down to about 34. That sounds like a good number. And you already can see that the image has changed. Now, if I go back to that menu and I pick different ones, you can see that the image is going to slightly change as I change the gradients. So what you can do, you, if you want to experiment, for example, so if you want uh, the shadows to be, let's say, blue, more cooler, you just drag this here and you play around. So if you go to white, it's going to make the image more paler. So if you go to this side here, it's going to make the image more blue, and the, here the black make the shadows dark. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see the image. And now let's say I want to make this image like a more cool tone. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a blue around here. Now for this middle, this is normally the grays in your image. So uh, if I want it to be really, you know, bold, I can cho choose like a, a yellow color like this. And if I want the image to have a green shade, this is how I do it. I'll choose green and so on. So uh, if I want it to look cool, I would go again closer to blues maybe. And the closer I get to white, the less color you get. So it's going to be like slightly blue. So I'll pick this one. Let me see if I change to purple. Uh, I think I'm going to go with purple, this baby lilac. And then here for the highlights, I'm not sure if, it, if it's going to be very visible. But if you see, there are some slight different changes in the image. So if you see the reds here, they're going to be more punchier. Because the image doesn't have a lot of um, um, extreme highlights, so you're not going to see that very well there. But I think you get the point. So if I choose green, for example, I don't know if you, you can see it, I see some slight changes, but almost non-existent. This to me here, I always leave it around the, you know, the blue, the, the white, because I like my highlights to be white. And okay, this is the image. See, before and after we just play with color uh, gradient map. But I don't want to do the image like this. I'm going to just select uh, a warm tone that I like. So for my shadows, I want to get like something orange, but more towards like brownish, like around here. And then for this middle one here, it's okay if the location changes like 49, 51, that's fine. Here I'm going to get like another skin tone, 
maybe more towards the yellow, maybe that's a bit too much, maybe around here. And I don't know if my highlight is going to change, but let me see. And I'll just keep it at dark. Okay, so this step is done. If you're happy with the image looking this way, you can just go ahead and save it. But if you want to add more things, you can use the adjustment layer here, Selective Color. I really like uh, Selective Color. I use it all the time. And for you to change the color, you just go to... I use mostly neutrals and black. Um, if I want to change the colors of my black, if I wanted to make more right and more red, so I'll just drag it to this side. If I want it more cyan, I drag to the other side. So I normally when I use this panel, I tend to make very minimal and small adjustments. So if I want the image to be yellow, I'll drag to the right side. If I want the image to be blue, I'll drag to the other side. So I will normally stay here, maybe, actually, let me go to neutrals first. So on the neutrals, I want the image to be slightly red, so I'm using minus three here. And so I don't know if you know, but cyan, uh, the opposite color of cyan is red. So RGB, think of that. The opposite of magenta is green. And the opposite of yellow is blue. So here is CMYK, K is for black, and the other side is RGB, so red, green, blue. So if I drag the yellow cursor now here, the yellow to the left, I'm going to get the opposite of yellow, which is blue. If I drag to the right, I get yellow, and, and so on. You get the, use, the hang of it after you start using for a while. So uh, if I drag here to the side, I like my image to be a little warm. So I'll probably go around like four and I'll keep my reds maybe at four too, four and four. And now I'm going to the blacks and here I can just change the intensity of my, the, you know, my the darker the black color in my image. So if I want it to be, to have a little hint of blue, I'll go here, but I want it to be warmer, so maybe two here and then magenta maybe one and then I think minus one no I think I'm gonna keep it zero here and then here I can just control really just the black so if I want it to be a little darker I think that should be good so here you can see the change of the image. If I um, let me just hide my gradient map for now. So these are the changes I did with selective color. Very, very, very small changes. But when you combine them both together, they become like really a powerhouse to say this way. So I'm going to group this into a layer. I'm going to select them and then Command G or Control G to create a group so you can see the before and after. Now, if you think the image is too dark you can create a curves layer and you can just play with it a bit. So if I want to increase the highlights, I just go over here. If I want the shadows to be dark, I go down. If I wanted the shadows to be light, I go up. And here also works the same way as, uh, as I was saying. So um, on the left hand side here, you play with your shadows. And on the right side, on the left hand side, you play with your shadows, and on the right hand side, you play with your highlights. And in the middle, you play with the middle, mid tones. So if I want my shadows to be a little lighter, I'll just drag this up. And if I want my highlights to be darker, I'll drag this down. It's normally a nest, like a nest shape. So if I just drag it up a bit like this. Maybe I don't think the shadows are fine. Let me see if I just increase the highlights and a bit of the mid tones. I think it gave the image a little punch and I love it. And this is exactly how you can change and color grade your images very simply and there's not really much secret to it. It's simple and effective and I use it all the time. So here you can see the image, the final image, and then here you can see the before. And if I zoom in close, you can see more of the details. You can see like the enhanced 
tones around her face and I just I just really like it, this this approach. There are other ways to color your images. This is one of them that I find very easy to use even for complete beginners. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video and if you find it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. Also, if you're curious to find me on the social medias, by any chance, <laughs> I'm on Instagram, I'm gonna leave it right here, and on Facebook too. So I'll see you there and see you on my next video. Bye guys.